All right, good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little shit. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys something. It's a general understanding of oil. I have been doing. I want to approach different topics, but this has come up a handful of times, and I get the same response, and it's driving me nuts. So I got to teach you guys something nobody knows that you really should, no matter who you are. I'm sorry uh, for for laughing. I'm just it's driving me that crazy. We're gonna talk about oil and different oil in an engine versus a trans and I know everybody oils oil and it's slippery and it, it provides you know lubrication well that's true in an engine um, the properties are different in a transmission it doesn't do the same job it's very little lube even though it, it's slick and hot tranny fluid will wash anything off um, it's slick but it, that's not its job its job is hydraulics to provide the force necessary to push a clutch pack and it also provides cooling like heat transfer so I've had a handful of guys recently and they're they're mind blown as well as me that they've popped a cooler line you know very common it happens these GM clips are absolute garbage okay if, if this isn't spotless and the line isn't spotless, it's not rusty and corroded, you know, these can pop off. A good AN, these are much better, they can fail too. I'll give you the sizes at the end of the video, that way you keep watching. Because you know what's depressing? 87% of you are not subscribed, that hurts my feelings. Anyway, oil does not do the same job in an engine. You can run an engine on, on a couple quarts low. It's going to lube itself, not great, but it's going to work. It's going to have whatever 20 to 80 pounds of oil pressure it should have. This is a lot different, okay? You, when you pop a cooler line or you underfill it and with like six quarts and accelerate, that oil is going to slosh or if you lose a cooler line, that oil is going to violently pump out of these two ports, okay? When that happens, you have upset the whole hydraulic system. That's a key word. Think of this as like a forklift. It's virtually the same thing. If you don't put oil in the forklift, there's no gears or anything that are gonna make that piston go up. The oil makes it go up through hydraulic pressure. Same shit. I could compare many things. It's like your body too. You ever heard of getting an air bubble in your bloodstream? You fucking die. Well, the same thing happens with this 4060, 408. The same thing happens with the transmission. You, it, it fucking dies if it gets an air bubble in its bloodstream. It's, automotive is just common sense. That's all it is. So, if we pop that stuff off, we lose two to, I've heard this week, up to seven quarts of fluid. Ryan, I, I put oil right back in it, and now it's slipping. Why that happened, and it will happen every time, no matter what you do, I don't care if you're Flash Gordon, you are not quick enough to turn that key off and stop the oil from coming out and preventing those clutches from slipping. In this instance, we're cruising on the highway, we're in lockup, where your converted clutch, your third clutch, and your band is engaged, and we'll say we're at 120 PSI, moving steady at, I don't know, 40% throttle or something like that. You pop a cooler line. All of a sudden, a couple seconds later, you see smoke. That is not only the oil hitting your exhaust, your clutches are losing that fluid pressure. They're only propelling your vehicle on the residual fluid in that piston that's left. So, whereas you might have had 140 pounds, now you have 60, maybe less, because it's operating on whatever it has left despite a huge leak, it can't compensate. It's too late. The clutches have burned. There's not enough PSI. There's not enough fluid pushing on it for it to actually hold. So clutches slip. You don't even know it because the vehicle doesn't go anywhere because the pump can't pump the shit to the torque converter. The torque converter can't make the stall and everything else go. Okay, my air hose is awful. I don't feel like fixing it. So we're just gonna deal. But this is the third clutch supply hole, okay? And this is your third clutch. I'll flip the drum so you guys can see better. But this, we're applying fluid and it makes your car go. I'm gonna slowly 
Lose fluid. Oh, I lost the line. Flip. All that time in between of it losing that air, i.e. losing fluid pressure, you, you're fucked. Point blank. You are F-U-C-K-E-D. Uh, too late. And that's how a transmission works. It's, that stops the reaction tube, which reacts to the low planet, which etc etc turns the output shaft makes your car go to that certain ratio without fluid your world stops going around so you put fluid back in it the journals and everything i promise you they'll be all right the clutches it's done once it loses fluid pressure much like a forklift the piston doesn't go up the clutches don't apply in an engine you can lose a lot of oil It'll loop. It'll still work. You, you don't have fluid powering your pistons. You have air, fuel, spark, combustion, okay? Not the same. There's gears down here, not up here. And it's a very basic system. This is lockup, okay? This is the lockup valve, which isn't in here because I'm in the middle of building this. Um, these are the two cooler ports. That hole here and that hole here. One is in, one is out. That is direct from the pump. So if that has blown on the highway, nothing's happening in here at all. Uh, it's, it's toast. You gotta, you gotta use this and save it. Now, the other thing that I, I wanna do, we'll do the same shit, like if you have low fluid in the pan, is a clogged filter when you don't do the break-in like I tell you to just like an engine engine needs a break-in so does the tranny there's new shit new bushings new clutches new everything it's gonna shed some stuff change it or if you do GM's like 50,000 mile interview or interval um, or what this guy did this is the, the most hilarious one I've seen he just kept the filter in there and just kept writing new dates on it um, tell me, tell me if that makes sense to any of you, and if it does, just sell your, your car and your wrenches, please. This applies to the 4L82, I just, all I do is 60s, that's what we use as an example. But the 80 is a whole different problem, because it has a front sump design. If it's under full, or there's a little bit of a clogged filter, or even if you got a lot of power and you are, I mean, I'm talking like into the eights, low eights, sevens. If you are accelerating that fast, your oil is going to slosh back. Front sump is bad. It sucks. But that is not helping your case with the clog filter and the low, you know, none of that's helping. You're already shitty design. Same with this. Slosh it back. Even though this has more of a, a middle to rear sump, I suppose, with a nice baffle. If it's clogged, you are sucking through a three-quarter inch hole, okay? Okay, you are sucking through here. You can only... That hole isn't going to get any bigger. You can't suck more than the hole fucking allows. So, you, by clogging the filter low fluid, you are making that hole smaller. You can't make it bigger, but you can always make it smaller, unlike in real life. So, all those things that, that just, this video will save you so much aggravation, time, and money, and just give you a general understanding. And, and to be honest, I see this more from like the 400 horsepower guys or under. I don't know why. I don't know why that is, but I can't build for 400 fucking horsepower. 1,000, 15, 2,000, no problem, no problem. But 400, I just can't handle it. And, and I, it might be me, I don't know. You guys tell me. But uh, it, it's it's in that category. And I don't mean to offend anybody, and I, I'm more or less like an avatar for the car guys. I pretty much say what we're all thinking without a filter. That is my job, other than building sick-ass transmissions all day, every day. So, it doesn't matter if you have 200 horsepower, 400 horsepower, 1,000 horsepower, 2,000 horsepower. I could build you an entire billet transmission 
And if any of these things that we just talked about are neglected, it's going to burn clutches. It's going to do the same thing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So that is how a hydraulic oil system needs to be taken care of. All too often, I have 300 horsepower, I have 400 horsepower, I bought an eight, 900,000 horsepower transmission to slip and nobody can do anything. It's not, it's not the tranny at that point. Unless you went to Marketplace and got one of those Marketplace builder that doesn't even have any credentials to do it, probably a shit rebuild. If it's built by somebody reputable, 99% of the time, if you're burning clutches, it's not the tranny. Hard, breaking hard parts is a transmission's fault. Burning, typically not. Especially not with, a, with builders that actually address the issues inside. So that being said, if, if we're vac checking, we're dyno testing, uh, air check, we're doing all of this stuff to make sure we're doing our job, Breaking hard parts, that's not very foreseeable. You know, you come up with a rating based on a certain amount of weight and torque, and that's kind of what it ends up. You break a hard part, we talk upgrade, usually that's a warranty. If you are burning clutches, when a shop is doing all these things, it doesn't matter, it, it doesn't have to be me, it could be somebody else, it doesn't matter who. If the shop's doing all these things, and you're burning clutches, we need to look at the vehicle for you, not the tranny. I say that with love and care, but sometimes the problem is you, and that's just life. Okay, part number. Well, not part number, but I strongly recommend going from this to this. Under all circumstances, it's easy to do. 6AN, okay? That's the size. 6AN. If you type in 6AN, Chevy transmission fitting 4L60, this, this will come up. I, I hope you guys retain this, and just to recap, because it's such a simple fact that will serve you so well in the future, get a pressure gauge in your car. Oil in a trans is not the same as an engine. You can refill an engine, you cannot refill a transmission. It's just too late.